The Nest Hello Smart Doorbell looks great. A well-connected doorbell that makes use of your home network and can use Google Home devices on the same Wi-Fi has its chime, meaning the range isn't restricted to receivers close enough to the doorbell itself. That's ideal for larger houses or when you want a receiver at the bottom of your garden. I haven't bought one though, because I'm holding out with my fingers and toes crossed for either a second gen model or at least a newer version, and I'll tell you why. Hello, welcome back to Switched On Network. I'm Paul FP, and if it's your first time here, this channel covers technology, gadgets, and the internet, etc. So click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any great new videos. As I said in the intro, the Nest Hello looks great, and I didn't even mention the video feed and the ability to speak to the person at the front door with amazing integration with the Google Home Hub. Plus, the ability to silence the chime and have it revert back to normal after a set time will be great for when our young children are napping during the day. For me, though, there are two key problems with the Nest Hello which I'd love to see fixed. Nest, if you're watching, please make these two little changes and then you can take my money. The first is the way the Nest Hello is powered and the way it integrates with your existing doorbell. It's supposedly easy to install if you have a wired doorbell. That's the issue. It assumes that you have an existing hardwired doorbell and if you go through the little wizard on the Nest website, as soon as you say you haven't got one, then it immediately recommends professional installation. The blurb on the website does make this very clear, so I'm not crying foul or anything. It says, Nest Hello requires a wired doorbell chime and the right transformer. But the question is, why? Here's the thing, most houses here in the UK don't have a mains powered doorbell at the front door, nor do most houses have a fixed chime inside. Okay, my parents' house that I grew up in does. Oh, and actually my grandmother's house did. But I think most fellow Brits would agree that those are the exception rather than the rule, so it's safe to assume most houses here have nothing hardwired. My own front door has a battery operated button stuck to the front and then some receivers like this which plug in and I bought the same set twice so I have four rather than two to cover the house and garden. They're okay but they take up a plug socket and have to be close enough to the front door plus the range drops even more when the batteries get weaker so being able to ditch these and have my Google Home devices ring instead would be amazing. However, with what you get in the box of the Nest Hello there's no way for me to power the device on my front door. Sure, if you look online, you can find unofficial power adapters which you can run to where you need, but it makes me slightly nervous putting an unofficial power adapter into a gadget which isn't cheap. You can, of course, buy one from a reputable source such as your local DIY or electrical retailer, but that leads me to my first suggestion stroke plea to Nest. Include a mains power adapter in the box for those of us that would need it, or at least sell an officially certified one as a separate add-on. My second plea is less of a game changer, but something that I think is a real shame to be missing from the proposition, and that's better integration with the other Nest devices, namely the Nest Protect. Living in a house where we've converted the loft, local building regulations required me to fit mains powered and interconnected smoke alarms, so I already have a Nest Protect on all three floors of my house, up on the ceiling, out of the way, and not using up a plug socket. They have a really good and clear speaker in them, so why can't they chime as well when someone rings my doorbell? This is only a test. The alarm will sound. Now, I fully appreciate that these devices are there to potentially save the lives of my family and me, so that has to be their number one priority, and any extra features which could potentially jeopardise the safe operation of that primary purpose will be an absolute no-no. But if it's at all possible for that feature to be added in a firmware upgrade while still maintaining absolute 100% reliability, I would really love to see that as I think it would be so neat. As a side note, it looks like with the current design they would be very easy to steal as all a thief would really need is a bent paperclip. Unfortunately, at the time of making this video there's no replacement program here in the UK for if your expensive doorbell gets nicked like there is in the USA. Granted, a stolen Nest Hello would be bricked and not work on any account other than your own, but would an opportunist thief know that? I would really like to add the Nest Hello to my smart home. I could live without it chiming on my smoke alarms, but obviously being able to power the device at my front door is essential. And given the correct adapter and length of cable, I'm quite happy to do it myself. I don't want to have to pay someone else to install it for me. You can find more information about the Nest Hello doorbell, as well as checking pricing and availability, by clicking the first link in the video description. So what's your take on this? Do you agree with what I've said, or do you think I'm bonkers and talking a load of rubbish? Let me know in the comments section below and if you agree with me, click the thumbs up button and why not subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. I hope you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of the other videos on screen now and I'll see you again soon.